primary election. He ousted incumbent Gene Schmidt to win the GOP nomination for Ohio's second U.S. congressional district. Nine News reporter Tom McKee caught up with him today at his medical practice to find out how he did it and what his plans are going forward. Tom? Well, Carol Wenstrup's only prior political experience was running against Mark Mallory for mayor of Cincinnati. Schmidt outspent him two to one, but he persevered and raised questions about her votes and her ethics. Now this Iraqi veteran podiatrist and businessman seeks a seat in the House in Washington. Tuesday night, Dr. Brad Wenstrup steps up to a podium before supporters as a surprise winner. You gotta love America, don't you? You gotta love America. Wednesday afternoon, he sees a full load of podiatry patients at Wellington Orthopedics in Green Township. I still have to earn a living, and uh, I'm obligated to them. You know, there's a thing called abandonment, and you really don't want to do that. It's been a whirlwind few months for Wenstrup since he filed for the race in June. He said victory came via a grassroots campaign since he was outspent two to one. It wasn't a lot of uh, money and it wasn't a lot of media's exposure per se, but it was me getting out every night I was somewhere, shaking hands, sitting down with people, letting them get to know me, know my background, what I'm about, and then what they're about. I asked Wenstrup if he thought Schmidt had become complacent with polling that showed her with a double-digit lead as late as last week. I don't know if it was complacency or just that people were ready for a change. I think there is a strong anti-incumbent mood in the country. Polls have shown that, and probably that was part of it. Um, and maybe polls made her think she had it. I don't know. But we kept working until the very last minute. Schmidt's greeting of President Obama during the State of the Union speech became fodder for a Winstrip ad. He said he didn't see the actual moment since he was out campaigning. My telephone and our emails started lighting up, so we knew it was a sensitive issue for people, and people didn't care for it. Looking ahead, this doctor, businessman, and military veteran plans to focus on what he calls the needs of people in the district. My message is that I come to Washington with experience non-political experience, but it pertains to everything that's in politics. As of right now, Wenstrup will face Democrat William Smith of Waverly, Ohio, in the fall unless party leaders decide on a substitute candidate. Schmidt was not available for comment today, but released a statement last night saying, we are Republicans and we have to move forward in November. She vowed to continue to be a strong voice in our nation's capital. Carol?